I feel a personal responsibility and obligation to these people. Like they've trusted me with their careers and their livelihood. And so it's important to me that, you know, I can deliver on that. I get asked this question by like family and friends all the time, like, so, so what do you actually do? And I was like, when Jimmy Buffett goes and posts like a list of tour dates, and it's like, yeah, like you're gonna go see that in Concord, the Concord Pavilion, and so you see the list of tour dates. I was like, that's what I do. I organize and set up and route those shows. You know, like that's what we do, start to finish, day one to day 30 or whatever it may be. We obviously book the tours. We're out there fighting to get festival dates. Uh, we're fighting to get the band's opening for bigger bands. Booking agent can be just a guy who bangs out dates and like an employment agent, finds jobs for entertainers. It's coordinating and scheduling, you know, the artist's touring plans. We're getting ticket counts for the shows, so we're continuing to monitor how many tickets we're selling. Where they tour, when they tour, how much they get paid. We spent a lot of time talking to the band, strategizing what the upcoming plans are going to be, whether it's the next tour or the next two years. Also being a mentor to them as well, not just booking, but also being a friend and part of their family pretty much as well. A booking agent can be someone who strategizes, gets a little bit more involved, and tries to figure out how best to tour a band to grow their career, or to maintain their career and maintain their income at, at a proper level. Internships at you know an agency would be ideal. Or working with a promoter on the other side of it, seeing what the promoter is doing and how they're dealing with the agents. Work in the mailroom, go buy talent at a little club, get get yourself known, make friends, and maybe somebody in a position to give you a job all of a sudden says, you know what, this guy's sharp, this girl's sharp. It's going to shows. A lot of kids just want to like email people and like you know, Facebook stalk people and Facebook message people about stuff, but you gotta get out to go to shows, you gotta meet people, you gotta, it's about your personality too, it's about wanting to, I'm gonna be an agent, like this is what I wanna do, and that's what I did, you know, I was 17 years old and I told my mom I wanna be a booking agent. Be an assistant somewhere, like work your way up, like the more you're around this stuff, the more you're gonna learn. This is not a thing that can be taught. I think the best way to learn is to just do it. It's maybe easier said than done, but I think you know finding that local band that you really believe in, that your friends play in, and offering to book them some shows, and just diving in head first and trying to figure it out, that's gonna be a better learning experience than any schooling for this job that's out there. You just have to hustle and hustle and hustle. You know, it's like, you might not get the all-time low tour that you submit for, but maybe you'll get it the fourth time around, you know, you got to put the band's name in front of the agent and just, I just call it punishing. You just punish, punish, punish over and over and over. And uh, sometimes it clicks, sometimes it doesn't. Every agent has, a, I think, a very different style. Um, I know for me, I'm not the yelling type. I'm not super aggressive. For me, it's about building relationships and making people want to work with you. It's a, it's a negotiation and also process between the agents and managers and that's the whole grind of being an agent is trying to get the most reasonable money for your client or a little extra. And as long as you have a great staff and you can figure out a really good system and be super organized, it's not that hard to take on a lot and still really cover all the bases. Uh, but you definitely can't do that overnight. That's something that you know, you have to gradually grow it so that you can actually continue to grow with the size of the roster and figure out how to continue to make your system more and more efficient. Two kinds of agents, really. Some agents have a great instinct for signing talent. Some agents maybe don't have that great instinct, but they know how to sell. They know strategy once they know what they have. Work ethic, I feel, is the most important thing in the music industry. You know, like, you really have to be patient and be willing to grind and hustle for your artist, whether you be a manager or an agent or promoter. Like, end of the day, it's like you need to just bust your ass to, to get to the light at the end of the tunnel. Our job, we represent talent. We represent these artists. We provide them a service. And, you know, you know we are lucky to be in this business, you know, especially if we love music.